What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Uh, I'm using Photoshop right now. Uh, you may be wondering why I'm running Windows right now and it's actually because I got a VM set up uh, through VirtualBox. I tried running it through uh, QEMU but it was a little slower. I asked on Reddit and someone said that maybe the like, uh, like Oracle like proprietary guest editions for um, VirtualBox run a little faster. As you can tell, if I like, um, like if I open up Notepad, you know, it like, it's a little laggy when I move stuff around, but you know, it's pretty fast. Uh, so the reason why I got Photoshop is because, you know, I've been thinking a lot. I think a lot about my thumbnails. I've been thinking a lot about like optimization, you know, and um, there you go. And so here's, here's GIMP, right? I'm super used to GIMP. Um, it's really great. Um, like if I wanted to recreate my thumbnail yesterday, you know, I go like this. It's a little weird because this is meant for like, like, yeah, there you go. So I go like this and image crop to content there. And then I make that a new layer. So then when I add noise, it acts a little better. Noise, I think I did eight noise on here. Uh, oh, I think my last thumbnail was, was 1080p. I think that's the difference. I'm doing this on 480p and I do a lot of my thumbnails on 480p, but like I'm very used to like a lot of stuff. You know, I, I, I can like work around really well. I'm used to like the way gradients work, you know. Um, I don't know, I've made all my stuff on GIMP since 2019. Uh, before that, I used paint.net. Uh, but you know, I look around at things and I see that people use Photoshop and Photoshop is very weird. Um, I've played around with it a little bit. Um, their gradient tool is really interesting. So like if I do a couple colors here, um, oh, whoa, whoops. I, that's about the same. Yeah. So if I, if I do a couple colors here, this one a little bit lighter. I'm able to do gradients. My only issue is that, you know, on GIMP, you have like a, you can move your gradient around. I'm sure you can do this on Photoshop. Uh, you can like move your gradient around. So if you don't like how it looks, you can be like, oh, let me move this over here and let me make this larger, right? And it stays there until you deselect from the gradient, right? Um, but something weird about Photoshop is you do a gradient and then it just, applies as soon as you let your mouse off the cursor and that's that's very strange i'm not i'm not used to that i'm used to being able to like move stuff around uh and i don't know if that's just not something i've set yet uh i don't know if like like i don't even know what method is oh is method just like oh you can just make a circle with method i'm assuming that's if you're on radial if you're on yeah that's just a line okay weird Okay, so something I actually really like about Photoshop uh, is that by default it dithers the gradients. On GIMP, um, if I do a gradient, uh, yeah, on GIMP if I do a gradient, and let's make it really wide. Well, okay. GIMP also dithers the gradients. Like there's a dithering option, but a lot of the time there's like weird banding issues. Um, and so something I do is I add like spread noise to it to like make it even noisier. Uh, and that adds some pretty obvious like grainy noise that I that I like, you know? Um, but Photoshop does it in a really interesting way uh, to where it's able to like very directly sort of like it looks smoother. I don't, I, I don't know if that's just placebo or what, uh, but it looks it looks smoother. Um, another thing I like is that on GIMP, if I were to do a um, I don't it's like brown here. It's so weird. I hope this doesn't look bad. What is happening? No. Uh, there you go. 
yeah, so something here is that the edges here are like weird, right? And if I do it on a new, it, they aren't um, anti-aliased. And if I do it on a new layer, this entire, I, I move it around, I move around the whole layer, you know? It's like, there's a square around this. It's like an invisible square and I move this thing around. So the thing I do is I do image, crop to content, copy it. Um, so then I have the layer that is the size of the object. And I'm sure there, I don't know, I've done a lot. I, I have a lot of things that I'm used to and I'm sure there's faster ways to do it in GIMP. Um, but it's just, it's that's unusual. Uh, something I like about Photoshop is how if you, Okay, I'm such an amateur at this. Let me actually, whoa. Let me actually grab the same things here. Thanks to the guest editions, I have bi-directional um, clipboard. There you go, okay. Um, and, okay, there. And then I can do a gradient, but I have to like select the gradient. I have to like select it to, what is happening? Why, why are you on the whole layer? Do I have to, do you on a new layer? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so for gradients, I have to like select the gradient. So hold on. Is it, is it, okay, there, there, okay. Okay, so I could do this, right? It sort of vaguely looks similar, uh, but something nice is that they have um, anti-aliasing on the edges of the circle, right? So if I go here, you can see that there's no anti-aliasing, right? Um, but if you go here, you can see that there is anti-aliasing. Um, and another thing is that when I move it around, it's the size of the object. Um, now, I don't know if, honestly, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, um, especially in like the layer section. Um, this is all weird. I don't know what this means. I don't know if this is just signifying if it's a gradient or something else. Uh, I know that these links mean that they're like connected. So if I'm moving one, I'm moving the other, but I don't know what I don't know what both of these things are because if I unlink them, it like does the same. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, okay. So the selection is a mask, but there's a, let's see. That is so unusual. Okay, I feel like the layer's a mask because as I move this circle around, you can see it going from like a lighter orange to a darker orange. So obviously there's like an orange layer that's just orange and then there's like a circular mask that is like exposing the bit that is the circular selection. But I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. That's crazy. Weird. Okay, so it's not even real. It's, okay, typically I'm able to move the circle with the gradient as if it were an object, but I think it's really weird that I'm moving the circle right now can I expand this and it would like, no, okay. The scaling is the same. So it, it's, it's scaling up when I do this. Okay, okay, yeah. You can see some pretty obvious scaling there. Is it like, does it scale based off of like, if I make this tiny and I make this big, will it look weird? Okay, it looks weird, but I don't, okay. Anyway, anyway, this is all very strange, and I and I find it sort of astonishing. I, I I don't know, I don't know what's up with it. It's all very weird. It's very strange. Um, you know, Photoshop's cool. I'm gonna be practicing it for the next couple of weeks. None of my thumbnails are gonna be made in Photoshop, except maybe this one. Maybe maybe for this one, I'll have some fun. I've never messed with the text tool. I don't know if I need to make a new layer for this, or if it will just automatically make one. But um, let's go over a nice beige. That's just like a weird yellow, but that works. Okay, I forgot about the lorem ipsum thing. I, I forgot they did that. 
Um, why is tech size in parts? What I who? What is how? What? Sorry, guys, you can't see this. Um, uh, there you go. There you go. Something very unusual. I don't know what. It, 4.08 parts. You know, just parts. It's four parts big. I don't. I don't know what that is. Um, in GIMP, it's usually in pixels. And it's not even at like the normal like. Like, where's 96 in here? There should be a 96. How big is 48? Okay, 48's really big. Oh my god, I have Windows fonts on here. That's crazy. I'll have to get my fonts. I could do... <laughs> I could do impact font. That's crazy, okay. Nice. I wonder if they have a better drop shadow tool. Blur? What blurs do they have? Hello? Is it because your text? Oh, it's because I had you selected. What blurs do you have? Gaussian. Yeah, convert to smart object. Is that what a smart object is where you can like... I think I turned this into a smart object. Man, shout out Gaussian Blur. That's incredible. So wait, if I do Gaussian Blur, could I add some noise? This doesn't have the thing I want. Because when I do add noise, it just means like, like, like this type of noise. But that's not what I want. I want like, like dithering noise, you know? Despeckle? That just does something. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Well, um, yeah, especially considering I'm running a Windows VM, I'm not sure if I'm going to be Photoshop, Photoshop filled anytime soon, uh, considering it does things like that sometimes, but it's still, um, it's still interesting. Uh, today for breakfast, I had some like chicken and rice and, and broccoli and that was good. Uh, for lunch, what I have, um, I didn't, I ha I didn't really have anything in for dinner. I might have like some chicken fried rice thing, but I might also not have that. Uh, check it out. I found this big hole in my shorts, um, and I fixed the hole. Yeah, you can kind of see it. This is where I fixed the hole. It's cool. It's the first time I ever repaired anything, and now I know how to. Um, I also fixed a hole in my hoodie. Uh, I might as well show you guys that too. This one looks a lot worse, um, but... Man, this is what happens when you wear the same clothes every day. You start getting holes in them. Uh, yeah, here it is. You can't really see that. Yeah, there there used to be a hole here. Now there's no longer a hole here because I fixed it. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Um, so now I know how to repair things and clothes. And now I have Photoshop. But, um, I don't know, Photoshop kind of sucks, and I'm not willing to switch to Windows for Photoshop. What? <laughs> like, what? Um, but, yeah, it's cool. Uh, I'm just doing my thing. Um, this is crazy. Maybe this will be my thumbnail. Peep it. I hate going for 6Fs white on something. Oh my god. Um, oh my god. There we go. And then I'll do this. For shadows, I like to do six zeros black. Oh, 
No, something I love doing is I actually love doing two separate layers of shadow and then adding different seeds of noise to it. Can I do one? No, that doesn't look nice. Four? Three. You know, I kind of like odd numbers for the noise level on shadows. Oh yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Um, and then we can do like 75 blur on both of these. Smooth. Hey, we win these though. We win these. Okay. Um, is there a gradient on this? Yeah, okay. It allows me some subtle gradients. Let me add some 0.5 gauge into this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, that'll be today's thumbnail. Uh, and also, Photoshop is crazy. Um, yeah, alright, I hope everybody has a good day, and yeah, see you.